So, may gabi sa tanan, no? So, you might be confused why I'm here in front. Basta na tingala mo, mga anak ko diri sa tubangan, pero kanang last Tuesday, hangyo po ko ni Daddy nga, ako daw mo share ka ron. So, ayaw lang po mo takwa. Nga din siya gusto riya. May English lang po kong dalabisaya. But, ah, Uh, welcome, no? Welcome sa tanan nga na Adri Karon. And actually, it's my first time to uh, preach this Tuesday night for one year. Muragi initiate po ko nila, no? Anyway, so, um, it's, kaning, kaning akong i-share sa inyo, Karon. It's been, um, siguro a spiritual journey, gikan pa jud last year. And, ato na siyang ma makuandron ma sana akong ma-share ninyo but first let's go to this would be the introduction no? so let's go to Exodus chapter 26 okay if you're there you're there 26 verses 31 to 34 okay If you have opened your Bible, good. Just stay it right there, kanang as is lang. And then, pagabli sa Biblia, um, ato lang palo up. Ah, Lungol, ipiyong atong mata magampus at sa atong buhi ng Dios. No, let us acknowledge first our heavenly Father. Lord, salamat ginonining kaghabi on Father God, and we are asking you, Lord, even for tonight, Lord God, that you will open, Lord, our hearts and our mind, Father God, na kini nga pulong, Lord God, mutisuk, Lord God, sa matag kasing-kasing na mo, Father God, Lord, let it be an eye-opener, Father God, and Lord, we are asking even for your holy fire, Lord God, be the one, Lord, to have your way, Lord, to how to preach, how to say this word, Lord, how to deliver this word of yours, O God, Lord. It is indeed an honor, Lord God, and it is a pleasure and a joy, Lord God, to honor you, Lord God, through preaching this word, Lord God. All things, Lord, will be, um, a gift. all the glory, Lord, and all the praises belongs only to you, Father God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. And so, direct us Exodus chapter 26. Verses 31 to 34. So, gingo niya dira, you shall erect the tabernacle after the plan of it shown you on the mountain. 36 yeah, verse 36. Oh, 31. Okay, 26. Sige, diretsyo na ako sa 33 ha. Verse 33 na naka. Okay. You shall hang the veil from the hooks that connect the curtains together. I'm reading the Amplified. And you shall bring the Ark of the Testimony there within the veil, and the veil shall separate for you the holy place and the holy of holies. So it says here, let's highlight the word, let's highlight the word separate, no? A separation, ang gamit ko no sa cortina, sa tabernacle, sa una, is to separate. Meaning, kung saan separate? Ha? Nag-ulang. Nag-buwag sa Holy of Holies did to sa kaning sa ning una holy place. So karon, let's go to Matthew chapter twenty seven. No, ugna unsa ning na unsa ang ang veil or na unsa ang cortina. No, pagsugo sa ginoo nga himuon ang veil or himuon ning ang cortina. Pagabot sa Mateo by the city, bersikulo singkwenta hangtod singkwenta idos. Makita nato unsay gibuhat or unsay nahitabuan ni nga cortina. No? If you're there, good for you. Wala pa ko. Anyway, so dara, verse 50 And Jesus cried out again with a loud agonized voice and gave up his spirit, so voluntarily, sovereignly dismissing and releasing his spirit from his body in submission to his father's plan. 51, and at once, the veil, so kato atong gikuan sa Exodus ganiya, the veil of the Holy of Holies of the Temple was torn in two from top to bottom, and the earth shook and the rocks were split apart. And makita na to sa 52 that the tombs were open, and many bodies of the saints, or God's people, who had fallen asleep in death, were raised to life. No? So makita na to nga, Gitukod siya, pero pag-abot sa Mateo, 
or pagabot sa time ni Jesus nga namatay si Jesus sa cross, nagisi siya. So what does this veil the eye? Unsa din nga veil? So ganihan nagingon ta sa Exodus nga mao siya'y nag-ulang sa Holy of Holies, gikan sa sa templo nga naapod sa gawas and the holy place. Now, it was being torn, meaning nagisi siya. Usa day ang Holy of Holies. It represents the presence of God. Kung asa ang Ark of the Covenant. Ang Ark of the Covenant dito sa Old Testament, mao siya'y nagrepresentar sa presensya sa Ginoo. Karon kay nagisi naman tong kuan, kurtina. Usa may pasabot ato. Yes, that's right. Thank you, Pastor. So, mo to siya, naa na tayo open access. Yes. Meaning, kitang tanan, pwede na tayo makasulod sa sa man? Sa yeah. presensya sa ginoo. Di ba ka nang sa ospital? Mingan yeah. sila nga, pag emergency, anaon, maday ng, ah, di mo pasudlon, kamera. Di ba? Sana so, yana, ah, stretcher, stretcher, kay emergency. Pagabot yun sa emergency, anaon na nagutin na, ah, ma'am, bawal, ma'am. Mm. Di ba? So, mura po na siya sa 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 giingon diri nga kortina nga bawal mo sulod basta naay kortina karon kay gigisi naman wala naman tong kortina so pwede na ta musulod ato nga presensya sa Ginoo amen nganong pwede naman ta kay sa atong nabasa ni ingon diri ang pag ang paghilak no in other gospel i think it's in mark or in, in john ni ingon diri nga and, the, and, and Jesus cried out it is done nao man na so pag ingon ato ni Lord, pag ingon ato ni Jesus nga ni surrender na siya, nagisi to nga veil. Now, you might be asking, why am I um kanang preaching this or why am I discussing this veil? Di ay unsa day ni nga dako man nagulang, no? Or unsa ning nagrepresent sa veil? The Old Testament, in the New Testament, and even today. So it says here, the veil separated the Holy of Holies from all the other things in the temple and outside the temple. And it was torn by what Jesus did on the cross. No? Kato nagisi to siya, agi sa gibuhat ni Jesus dito sa cross. But the question is, the question in each and every one of us, apil ko, why are we trying to put it back on? Nga nung ato pa mang gigamit, gigisi naman to sa ginoo. Nganong ato man siyang gikuha o balik o gigamit? Why are we trying to put it back on? Corporately? Individually? Why are we trying to do that? Diyan, manguta na din sa akin, Lord, nga nang di makasulod sa inyong presensya. Lord, nagluhod na ko, Lord. Naglakilap na ko nga nung wala mang gihapon. Check. Check. Basta ninyong gibalik itong gigisi ni Lord Tana. It may work before ang kortina. It may work before kay mo i instruct ni Lord kay Moses. But if we're trying to make use of it again, it's hindering. It's hindering in the presence of the Lord. And if we're trying to to use it again today, it would mean religion and tradition. Tradition o religion relihiyon ang ato ang gi, 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 patigbabaw kung ato siyang gigamit o balik. From the word, from the book itself, Old Testament. ba? Now, as a church, ginabuhat po na na. Individually, yes, we are we are also doing that. May ngayon, ah, sila raman to, katong nga simbahan, kayo nga ani, ganito, ganyan. But try to check for yourself. Examine yourselves, no? Tana, tanawa, panalamini imong kagalingon. Bahala wala kay samin. Hinoktoki, himuklogi nga. Unsa imong naasa imo ang sulod. Nga nung dili da yun kakasulod sa presensya sa ginoo. No? Why are we making the veil put to use again? Which is hindering us in coming to God. Which separate us from God. Which separate us from His presence. And this is not just the sin that I am going to tell you about. Kay daghan na pud yun pud nagingon ani, no? Even against the Satan, against demon and all. What I mean by this and what the Holy Spirit is trying to tell you is that this veil that you are trying to put it back on, that you are trying to use again is your flesh. Imong unod. 
no? Our very own veil that separates us from entering the Holy of Holies. Ang pinaka-personal na ito nga kurtina sa atong kaugalingon. Na mo'y nagbulag ka na ito, nagulang ka na ito, diha sa presensya sa ginoo. Isa tong ulod. Hmm? So, come to think of it, gina, kusog kayo tamo, kanang palayas o yawa. Ang yawa ka in the mighty name of Jesus! Pahawa rin! Layas! We are so fearless. We are so courageous. Isug ka ita. And yes, the truth is magpangurug ang yawa sa ato ah. Kaya atong gigamit ang ngalan ni Jesus Christo. We are using the name of Jesus the Messiah. But when it comes to the flesh, uh, Facebook, pagkaon, nananawag na, 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 akong umnan, humot patay akong habo, Lord, kadyot lang. <laughs> Isugay ta, basta yawa ka ito bang, pero Facebook, isa, Lord, may lang, may lang yun, uy, Shopee, ting, oh. But when it comes to the flesh, hallelujah, Basta unod na gani, magpanawag. Tukoy, tukoy. Mm. Dukol da yun. Come on, come on. Pero ang yawa mo, muhunghong, pahawa sa pangalan ni Jesus. But why can't we badlong? Nga nung di man ato mabadlong atong flesh. Gusto kita mabadlong. Gusto kita mabadlong sa yawa, pero di ka kabadlong sa atong unod. Hmm? Dili mo manggigil? So we immediately give in. We're quick to indulge. No? Food, junk foods, material things, clothes, shoes, cars, tulog, sleep, our pillows, smell so good. Oh, later, later, Lord. I love, I love sleeping. Sleeping is life. Pizza is life. Facebook is life. Instagram is life. Diba? Ice cream. What else? <laughs> We become slaves to it. Mahimo tang, usay bisaya sa slave. Ulipon. Ulipon. Yawa di ko mo pa ulipon kanimo. Betaw. Pero si mong onod. Ma, mulaya sa yawa pero ilagi ako pero mo kung onod mo inagkuanak, nagkuanim mo. Na ba? Let's go to Romans six, verse sixteen. Then you will know anong naulipon ta na. Or try to check in your in your life right now. Unsay nakaulipon sa imo ah? Chapter 6, Romans chapter 6 verse 16. 616. Says there. I'm reading in the Amplified. Ah, Do you not know that when you continually offer yourselves to someone or to something to do his or that will, you are the slaves of the one whom you obey. Amen. Hello. Amen. Huh? Uh-huh. You are a slave to the one whom you obey. Mm. Nate, dili, jud ko magpaulipon sa yawa. Hmm, di ko mo sigarilyo. Hmm, di ko mo yun ang tea. Sa yawa, jud na. Di ko makigilawas, te. Kaya, di pa pasa. Hmm, dili, te. Sala na, te. Wala ko na ulipon ana te. I am not slave to that sin. Facebook ga? Ay, mm, okay kayo updated pa ko. Hallelujah. Ni ba? Basta basta gani kuan kanang kanang pula kay ang pula kay basta gay sala ana. Mm, pula kay ka. Mm, la kani sala man iwo. La, sala pud iwo. La, la. Pero kung sanay gusto sa unod. Mi laag. Lami kaon, lami tulog, kine. Kine. Diba? We can't serve two masters. Nagingon sa Bible, diba? We can't serve two masters. So, matutong ganyan nga. Note, nga dili, lagi ka ulipon sa yawa, pero sa unod, sab. Priso, yapon ka. Huh? Satan might not be your master, but maybe to your flesh. 
You might be a master to your you uh, you might be a slave to your flesh. Di ba? So kani siya this isn't dili ni pagpakaulaw, dili ni pag pagkuan. It's just to examine ourselves. It's just to check. It's just to check. Kay bisan ako igo pagkuan ni oi. Do I suwab good ang pulong sa Ginoo? Di ba? So what did Paul say about this? So in Romans chapter 8 verse 12 Romans 8 verse 12 Saying on dira So then brothers and sisters we have an obligation Ada kuno tay obligation but not to our flesh our human nature our worldliness, our sinful capacity to live according to the impulses of the flesh, our nature without the Holy Spirit. So that, my friend, my brethren, ang gingo ni Paul, na tayo obligasyon, pero dili diha. May hindi, di, excuse ako, tika, jut na jut kayo, tika, kaya naman gumilong ago, na ilabon mo, na itiktok, Ay, Instagram. Naata na dito, te. Niyan ako mag-Bible study, te. Isa ako mag-fellowship, te. Kaya na ikuwan dito, te, anana. But what does Romans chapter 8 verse 12 says? What is your obligation? Naku, kaya din yaw, pag ingan, no? Not to our flesh. Te, matulog sa ako, te. Kira na siya, te. Mga one hour kong late. Better late than never, bayat, te. Tulog sa ako, te. Gamay lang, gamay, some should five minutes. Not to our flesh. Napailain. Romans 12. Verse 2. And do not be conformed to this world. Can everyone say world? World. Okay. And do not be conformed to this world any longer with its superficial values and customs, but be transformed and progressively changed as you mature spiritually by the renewing of your mind, focusing on godly values and ethical attitudes so that you may prove for yourself what the will of God is, that which is good and acceptable and perfect in His plan and purpose for you. Diba? Sa may gingon dira, ayaw daw mong kumpurma sa kalibutan. Mga insuon. Shoot lang tiki. Sayawon sana ko ni tiki. Mubi ani, uso sa tiktak biya ti. Yut lang. Ha? Hallelujah. Dindut ka niya kanta te. Woo! Grabe, grabe beats te. Hmm, yeah. Nga, ang ginoong. Hindi ko siya biti. Tanan man, isayaw aniti. Mind you, kanang tanan, world na, kalibutan na. Hmm? Na apa? Colossians chapter 3. Verses 2 to 3. What does it says there? Colossians 3, verses 2 to 3. Asa ta dapat mag-focus? Because in Romans 8, it says there that we have an obligation, but it's not on, in the flesh. And in Romans 12, it says that dili ta mo conform ani nga, nga, nga kalibutan, dili nga world. And it says there, set your mind and keep focused habitually. Usa ang habitually? Hmm? Balik-balik, ikinabuhi. Kada adlaw, constant. No? Habitually, on the things where? Things above, the heavenly things, and not on things that are on the earth. Asa ta karon? Nata sa earth. Pero gibadlong ta diri, giingnan ta nga, not on the things of the earth. Kung sa mga gipang buhat diri sa kalibutan. Kung sa rabagay dahi usum, or rabagay dahi sundun, usugod. 
Diba? Updated kayo. Isa mga uso nga sanina, uso nga haircut, uso nga makeup. Tanan. Eh, kanil di kayo. Pas paswag man tanil di kayo. Mabi yan, uso ron te. Ah, talaga. But ano sabi? Ano sabi dito? Verse 3. For you died to this world and your new real life is hidden where? With Christ in God. Hallelujah. So you see there? Sama sa kung gingon gani ha? We are examining ourselves. Now it says here nga, you have to die to this world and to live in Christ. The question is, are you dead to this world? Patay na ba mo aning kalibutan na? Wala na ba mo'y amor ang mga salida, mga Facebook, mga worldly songs, mga K-pop, K-series, lahat na. Kay kung naapa mo, nisud pa ninyo buwian, you're still alive here. Buhi pa mo diri. Si Sir, may inyong gibakakan. Sige mo simba, sige mo panawag ni Lord sa iyang presensya. Pero di ay buhi pa mo sa kalibutan. You're still alive in this in this world. So I have a personal testimony to tell you about. Muto kong gingon sa introduction ganiya. August uh, last year, 2019, uh, there was a time or there was a night nga wa ko katulog, sleepless. Kanang, sige ko, sige ko balista-balista, di man ko katulog, ano man eh. And so I remember, I don't know, but a mentor or a brethren sa- said to me that if dili gani ka patulgon, meaning pampuon ka na, or you pray for it, or pray about it. Why? And so a voice, a voice came to me and told me that I'm about to die in four months. Cinco August. September, October, November, December. Then, I even, I even shared it to mommy. I even told her, Mom, and then, gisakyan sa yawa. Hindi po siya, mamatay ka, og leukemia, dali-dali, walay, anak niya. So, I, I asked mom to pray with me, to rebuke it, and pray against it. Hindi ko, no! Hindi ko ganahan mamatay, Lord! But the first few weeks that I received, because it re- it was really audible in my in my, in my my ears, in my head, you are going to die in four months. Mamatay ka, sulod sa upat kabulan. So, hindi ko ko, sige, ah, magsulat ko, uh, sulat para ni mama, sulat para ni papa. Akong tanang kabtangan, ako naging nandiyan akong best friend nga, money password sa akong laptop, ikaw na bahala kung ang slideshow sa ako ah, sa St. Peter, ganito, ganyan. Na siya, una-una. But I was so scared. And so I prayed. Ko Lord, gano'n pat yun magkunin mo? Kala ko ba Jeremiah 29.11? <laughs> Hallelujah. It made no sense to me. It made no sense. And it scared me. Until... I read the book from Apostle Shane, Roots of Religion, wherein there was a chapter there that's, that talks about dying to self. Nga na libro, katong Roots of Religion, nga na, yeah, sa isa ka chapter, nag-ingon dito nga, kinahanglan mamatay kasi mong kaugalingon. So, akong nadungograman kay, die good nga, patay di. Abi ko, patay, physical di. Patay ko. So, niyong, ako, ako ah, kaya naman pala. Kanidi ay. No? It was death to self. And so, mga igson, I believe God's word for us, for us all, even this year, as it is tagged, the year of preparation, it is death to self. Ang pagkamatay sa atong kaugalingon. Death to self. And so, the title of this message is actually Death to Self. And so, moto kong gingon ganina nga, Last year pa ni siya nga journey na ako. And karon lang siya nga year na ako nakuan ba na mas natugkad bitaw. Kay naghatag po og revelation si Lord. And so God wants us to kill our flesh, to kill ourselves. 
That's what He wants. Sa matag-usa ka nato, in each and every one of us, He wants us to die. Patay. Amen. So, I believe the Lord is also telling that to each and every one of us. Kaya basin unyag, mapariyan mo na ako, ngahunghungan mo sa Holy Spirit, mamatay ka. Dahil, di ba? So, it's it's really a, a, a timely message, I believe. So, let us go to Exodus 29. That's in the Old Testament. And yes, Old Testament is really, really, really alive even sa ato ang a time. It's really timely as well. Exodus 29, verse 18. Where are you? There you are. Okay, I'm gonna read it. Ngayon dere. Verse 18. And you shall burn the whole ram on the altar. And it is a burnt offering to the Lord. And it says there, It is a sweet and soothing aroma, an offering by fire, to the Lord. So the animals offered and sacrificed, no? Ang katong mga gipang gipang alay, mga gipang halad ng mga mga mananap sa una, may muntan ako animal. <laughs> mga mananap sa una, pat yun. Okay? Pat yun din ihalad. Specific nga gidala kon ni Lord diri sa verse 18. Kay nagingon diri ang katong Kato nga mananap, tibuok siya nga gihalad. Nga nung tibuok man siya gihalad, dayon by fire pag yun. What does it, what does it mean today? Ningon si Lord nga, ihalad ni mo imong tibuok, imong tibuok ka o galingon, by fire. What, what say represent sa fire? Anyone? The Holy Spirit. It is the Holy Spirit. Usa dayon us, kabalo mo say usa gi describe diri unsa siya sa pang Lord. It is sweet and soothing. Ah. Muta kay bay. Yes, this is it. Soothing and sweet aroma to the Lord. Sa kahalad nga humot kayo. Di ba? Kung inyo may numduman tong sa wali ni Kuya JM last Tuesday nga my God, you're so stinking. Oh, garbage. Gusto ka nga, inag, inag, simba ni mo, inag hatag, ihalad ka, ihalad na ni mo, imu kagalingon ka, Lord, pero nag si Lord. Eh. Ang gusto ni Lord is, ni. Diba? So let us go to Romans 12. So the Old and the New Testament is actually kanang nagkuan siya ba nagcoincide no correlated with each other So dili gyud siya ingon nga walay gamit ang Old Testament because it's old no it's not it's really useful as well as the New Testament So let's go to Romans 12 verse 1 What does it says there Dili na mga mananap ang ihalad What does it says there 12:1 Hmm? Therefore, I urge you, brothers and sisters, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies as what? Living sacrifice. Living sacrifice. Amen. Living sacrifice. Buhing halad. Amen. And why did, why did we quote the Exodus 29.18? Because it says there that you have to be offered whole. Lord, kini lang, Lord. Chop, chop. Kani una, Lord. Nisunod. Next year na po ni. Next year, sunod na ni Lord. Kani, ah, dirisa ni Lord. Dirisa mi. Reserve. Basta nyo niya mawadag kuan ba? Mautdan o supply. Hallelujah. So we are the living sacrifice. And we're, we're to present our body holy and well pleasing to God. As our act of worship. And of course, the Holy Spirit as our fire. And for us to surrender as whole. Tibuok. No? Dili lang kay Karong Domingo. Kay Simba. Dili lang Karong Martis. Kay Fellowship. Tibuok. 
Bisan asata, bisan kanusa. Diba? Living sacrifice. So let us see the pattern. No? Kaya naglantaw man taga niya sa Exodus or sa Old Testament and then we went to the New Testament. So let us see the pattern. Sa Old Testament, their killing of animals, sacrifices, burnt offerings were made, there was consecration, and all after that, God's glory came down and was with them. Meaning, involve ang patay, involve ang pagputli, involve ang pagsunog, involve ang pagsakripisyo, ay ha ang himaya sa ginoo ni Naog sa templo. That's in the Old Testament. That's the pattern. Now, in the New Testament, what does it says? Jesus suffered in pain, crown of thorns was in his head, was on his head, and nailed to the cross. Then the veil was torn. Jesus was buried and rose again, and he was glorified by the Father in heaven. So, unsa ang pattern? Na ay pagsakripisyo nga gihimo sa ni, ni Jesus, na ay pagbunal, na ay tunok sa iyang ulo, gihimong corona, gilansang siya sa krus, ay ha na buak, or ay ha na gisi ang veil, then he rose again, he was alive again, but this time, he was glorified. He was glorified. He was seated at the right hand of, of the Father. So, sama sa Bible study na mo ganiha nga, gingo ni Pastora Jen, ni siya nga, Jesus was the fulfillment of what the God the Father was promising all those people, all along, even His chosen nation, Israel. Nga kung imo lang nang i-follow na, mo ni mahitabo. And so, Jesus Gi display to sa Ginoo. Okay? So now, it's about us. Kana nga pattern. Glory ni Lord. In the New Testament, there was a sacrifice by Jesus on the cross, and then he was glorified. What does that say? Hyper grace. To sit down. So, gibuhat to nila sa una din. Gibuhat to ni Jesus. Kita ni. Lingkod lang. Pasinaw. Minaw. Pasato ah. That's right. There's none. No, no man. Our God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Amen. And what makes the requirement change, people, brethren, church? Kung sa'yo nakalahi sa requirement, nga maura man ang manager, maura man ang tagiya. There's no change of the requirements, ladies and gentlemen. You splash. This is the truth. Amen. You are not just to sit down. You are not created for this world to just sit down and just enjoy the show. Or just read it from the Bible. Or just for your eyes only. No. Death to self. God, the all-knowing, all-powerful, requires the same sacrifice. As a church, as individual, as a follower, as a disciple, as a believer, it's still the same. Same sacrifice. What they did before, and what Jesus did, and what the apostles did. Nahimu silang martyr. Death to self. Death to self. Jesus even said in Luke chapter 9, verses 22 to 24, 
Chapter 9, verses 22 to 24. Okay, there he is. Chapter 9, verses 22 says there, The Son of Man must suffer many things and be rejected, as the Messiah by the elders and the chief priests and the scribes, and be put to death, and on the third day be raised up from death to life. And in verse 23, says there, And he was saying to them all, Wala siya naging on, And he was saying to the to the, to the specific or not, to them all, satanan. If anyone wishes to follow me as my disciple, he must deny himself, set aside selfish interest, and take up his cross daily. No, Did he take up his cross monthly, annually, every three years, every ten months? Daily, my friend. Daily, my friend. Kada adlaw every day. Expressing a willingness to endure whatever may come and follow me, believing in me, conforming to my example in living, and if need be, and if need be, suffering or perhaps dying because of faith in me. So, kabalo na mo sa inyong job description. Kabalo na mo sa inyong gipa, asa mo nagpalista. You want to be a disciple? You want to be a follower? Well, here it is. Suffering. Death to self. Death. Even dying because of faith in Christ. Are you up to it? Gusto ba mo magpalista? Amen. 24. Forever wishes to save his life in this world will eventually lose it through death. But whoever loses his life in this world for my sake, he is the one who will save it from the consequences of sin and separation from God. For what does it profit a man if he gains the whole world, the wealth, the fame, the success, and loses or forfeits himself. Diba? So you have the fame. Oh, popular kay ka. Dahan ka. Mm, ilado, sikat. Dato. Tananin mong gusto si mong unod nun. Naa da yun. Tagbuan da yun. Tananin mong gusto. Nara sa ref. One open away. Mm. Chao, kira ko. Ah, dili ko ni Jesus. Kita mo itong amin. Because I have everything I have here. Why would I want to suffer? Why would why would I want to die? I have everything I want. I have everything I need. Yes, you have your life here. But how about the next life? So we see here. In Luke chapter 9, Jesus himself, ah, si Jesus nanging on, di ako, dili ko, dili ako. Pick up your cross, lay down your life, deny yourself, and conform your life in Christ. Not in flesh. In Christ. So we might find it easy to cast out demons and rebuke them than subdue our flesh. Mas makita na noon na ito, masayon masay man yun noon magpalayas o yawa, ti. Kaysa, kanang, didan ako akong unod ba? Isod ka, yung ano man, mukha lagi yung man ang yawa niya, akong unod, nagpabilin man. Nga bahalag, nagtulog na ako, ti, naaman gihapon. Lisod, sab. But you know what? This is why the Lord is saying right now, dying to self. Nagibit-bit mo siya ni mo, sige. And that's why it's a constant battle as well. Hindi lang constant battle against sin, against 
Satan against the enemy, against witchcraft, against principalities and rulers. But how about this? How about the urge? How about the cravings? Si ganahan pala ikaw mag-relax sa ito. Yan na tita, laag sa dati ito. Pahot kayo lugar dito sa dati. Dab-dab dati para chill-chill, enjoy sa dati, relax sa dati. Kapoy, labad kayo, tidahan kayo ang gitunaan. We're so, we're, we're chasing from one craving to another, one urge to another. Pero di niya biyagya punta masatisfy. Amen ba? Amen. Di ba? Walay katagbawan. Tama. Walay content. There's no contentment to that, in that. So, it, it, it's also said here that the flesh, it runs deep and it's strong. Na na siya'y roots, nakapangugat na sa ato ah. That's why it's difficult. It's much more difficult. It seems to be. Diba? Our comfort, our convenience, the easy, the quick, the instant are definitely irresistible. Kaya one click away lang bitaw siya te, da yun. One lang, one chat away. Nag, nag-send na po, na, deliver na din ng pizza. Tapos hindi, tara man ang nanat good eh. Instant noodles, instant coffee, instant tanan, hasta instant uyab. Hmm? Digital na gaitan nanti, hasta skwila. Ang yun. Digital, hasta uyab. Magkahumanti, after one month, engage na kami. Instant. Gusto nyo yan eh. Because we are really used to it. Diba ng millennials? We are really used to it. Kinalakihan na eh. No? Diya, gutagad ako. May mato silang mama. Sa una nga. Kami sa una, magkabuk kami tubig. Kami sa una, magdala pa may ani. Ganito, ganyan, ganire. They're really used to hardship. Wala ta na-expose, Anna. Even ito mga bata ron. Na! Sumayo pa ma- Swipe. Ala, asa na siya gikan? Di yun sa na, asa gikan? Maayo na. Dili mo, wala mo na. I mean, dili mo maratol, Anna. <laughs> dili mo. Nakita gani half mga batang 19s half kuan ta manual half kuan kanang sa Pilipinas sa pod kay dito sa sa US or in other countries even in America na naslay computer sa ilang mami pa lang time sa atoa wala pa kayo so dili mo matingala ana dili mo makuyawan nga even ang mga bata karon grabe na kay makahawid og gadget mas sweeto pa kaysa nato we are really used to it and we are exposing even the young ones to that we are exposing them to kanang quick kaayo nga mga impulses sa flesh. Nga og dili masunod ang ilang gusto. Wow. Dendra ba og imong bunalan? Adi is WD da yun. What is happening to this world? Are you conforming to it? Or you want to die to this world? 